Hey everyone, Lisa Peterson here. Today I want to dive deep into something that's transformed my life, radical optimism. It's a philosophy that's especially crucial in today's world where uncertainty seems to be the only constant. Ten years ago, I was at the top of my game in the financial industry. I had it all, or so I thought, but deep down something wasn't right. I felt stuck, unfulfilled, and then a near-death experience shook me to my core, making me question everything. Was I living a life true to myself? Was I really fulfilled? That's when I discovered the power of radical optimism. It's not about ignoring challenges. It's about believing in possibility, even when things seem really tough. It's a philosophy that acknowledges that progress often emerges out of uncertainty, out of failure, out of gradual improvements. So let's talk about embracing uncertainty. This is something that I've had to learn as a business owner. When you leave the security of a steady paycheck, it can be terrifying. There's no company ensuring that your bills get paid. It's all on you. But here's the thing. Embracing uncertainty is where the magic happens. It's where we grow, where we innovate, where we truly come alive. This doesn't mean it's easy. There are days when uncertainty feels totally overwhelming. I get it. I was talking to a guy the other day and he's sharing with me that nothing that he had tried was working out and he had been trying to start a business. He had been trying to build wealth. He was feeling really beaten down and I do get it. Life is hard. There's no question about that fact, but that's where radical optimism comes in. It's about looking at that uncertainty and seeing opportunity. It's about trusting that even if you don't have all the answers right now, you are going to figure it out. When we apply this mindset to personal finance, it offers fresh insights into building wealth. Managing money often brings stress about the risks, the unknowns, but adopting an optimistic outlook can reframe these challenges and inspire you to implement proactive strategies. Let's also talk about abundance. Here's a twist that might surprise you. Abundance isn't some far off treasure waiting to be discovered in the distant future. It's a vibrant, ever present energy that flows through the here and now. Yet so many of us fall into the trap of what I call the someday syndrome, postponing our joy and sense of fulfillment until we reach a certain milestone or acquire a particular possession. We tell ourselves, I'll be happy when I get that promotion, or life will be good once I pay off all my debts. This deferred living plan is perhaps the most insidious source of scarcity in our lives. The truth is, abundance isn't a destination. It's a practice. It's a mindset that we cultivate in the present moment. We need to think of it like a muscle. The more you exercise it in your life, the stronger it becomes. It's not about waiting for perfect conditions to feel abundant. It's about finding richness in the imperfect now. Because let's face it, there will always be another hill to climb, another goal to chase. If we pin our sense of abundance on solving all our problems, we will be waiting forever. So how do you break free of this cycle? By realizing that feeling abundant is a choice that we can make right now, regardless of our circumstances. It's about savoring that cup of coffee. It's about cherishing a conversation with a friend or family member. It's about finding wonder in an ordinary sunset. These moments of presence and appreciation are the seeds of true abundance in your life. So I came up with five ways that you can start embracing radical optimism and greater abundance. Number one, trust your heart. 
your intuition knows more than you think. When you are stressed out, when you're feeling anxious, when you're living in scarcity, you are very disconnected from your heart. And it's really tough to get an intuitive hit of what's the best thing for you to do in the moment. So you got to understand that you need practices like meditation, contemplation, walks in nature, being present in the moment to be able to trust your heart. Number two, embrace uncertainty. I want you to see life as an opportunity. All those challenges are opportunities for growth, not something to fear. Number three, practice abundant thinking. Find joy and richness in the present moment, not in some future condition. Number four, taking small steps. You don't need to have everything figured out to start moving forward. Small steps can be incredibly powerful right? You want to figure out what's that next tiny step that's going to help you get where you want to go. Not the whole thing, just that next tiny step. When I started my own business, the idea of building a whole new career was completely overwhelming. So I broke it down into tiny steps. For example, you know, I had to create a website and then I had to get out and start talking to people about what I was doing and building clients for that would pay me at some point. But I had to take these tiny steps to eventually have a thriving business, to eventually build an email list, to eventually have a YouTube channel, right? I never know what's going to take off. All I can know is what. I can do today. And that's all I'm encouraging. One tiny step. Finally, number five would be cultivating gratitude. Appreciating what you have opens you up to receiving more. This isn't just about saying thank you. It's about truly appreciating what you have right now. When you wake up in the morning, you know, this is what I regularly do. I, before I check my phone or start my day, I meditate. I take time to think about how grateful I am for this day, for waking up, for the cardinal that just flew by bright red. (laughs) I take time to celebrate all the beauty in my life and the people that I get to gratefully spend time with, right? So, It's about celebrating the little things and the big things, the warm coffee in your hand, the sound of the bird outside of your window. Gratitude isn't about ignoring problems or pretending that everything is perfect. It's about recognizing that even in the midst of challenges, there are things to appreciate. This mindset can help you approach difficulties with more resilience and optimism. Radical optimism, again, isn't about ignoring reality. It's about choosing to see possibilities in every situation. It's about believing that no matter what happens, you have the strength and resilience to handle it. When I left my career, it was terrifying. We downsized. We completely changed our lifestyle. But you know what? It was the best decision we have ever made. It required this foundation of radical optimism to keep going forward. So if you're feeling stuck, if you're questioning your path, I want you to know it's okay. It's okay not to have all the answers. What matters is that you're taking steps towards creating a life that feels right to you. Radical optimism and abundance thinking have helped me to create a life I love, doing work that truly fulfills me, and I believe that the same is totally possible for you. I'm a work in progress. I forget these things, which is why I like to create these videos to remind myself and hopefully share this message with others about what really matters and what really works. So perhaps take this with you. The knowledge that we are a part of the ocean rather than some isolated wave can bring a feeling of grace with it. It isn't easy to remember, but if you can feel a sense of, I am love, I am loved, no matter how bad things may seem to be, that it is okay and it's going to work out the way it does and you can meet it with grace. With this kind of confidence in the essential goodness of life comes an openness to the beauty of life itself. Without this confidence, it's so easy to be consumed by fears about your own survival and your own gratification. So please remember, you are capable of handling so much more than you realize. 
trust your heart, embrace uncertainty, practice abundance, and let radical optimism guide you towards a life of true fulfillment. Thank you for listening. I hope this helps you on your journey. Like, comment, share what your interpretation of radical optimism is and how you're applying it to your life. Bye for now. Mm-hmm.